So in this video we're looking at the proof of the sum to infinity of a geometric series. So for this proof it is important to note that the geometric series must have a common ratio where the modulus of OR is less than 1. Okay. So it's a really nice quick little proof. It hasn't come up on the leaving cert before but it is in the syllabus and on the curriculum so it's really important to actually do cover it. So it starts off by listing out Sn, where Sn, we know the first term is OR. And then in a geometric series, how do you get to the second term? Well, we multiply by OR. So the second term is OR, excuse me, multiply by OR. And then again, multiplying by OR, multiplying by OR. So we're getting AOR squared and so on. AOR cubed, all the way down to a or n to the minus 1. Now you might be wondering why is it n to the minus 1 there? Well, if we consider the first term, if I just move this to the left and put in or to the power of 0. What's or to the power of 0? Or to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, so this whole thing is actually just the number 1. So, uh, with that decreasing order where the order is or the power is one two three if it's going to be the nth term at the end so the first term has a power of zero the second term has a power of one third term has a power of two so on the nth term is going to have a power of n minus one what we then do is directly below it write in or times Sn. So we've multiplied both sides by or. So I'm going to have a or plus a or squared plus a or cubed plus a or to the 4 plus a or. And what would this be? Would just be n. Thinking a. Thinking or to the power of n minus 1 times or. The power is 1 here. Same basis. Multiply them. So we're adding the powers. Okay. Next step, so you don't need that for the proof. Next step is to change the signs to minus. And then, then subtract the, the bottom line from the top line. So you get Sn minus or Sn is equal to. These two will cancel. These two will cancel. These two will cancel and so on. This will cancel in there. So all you're going to be left with is a minus a or to the power of n. Next step is on the left hand side to factorize out sn. So sn is equal to 1 minus or. a and on the right hand side we can factorize out a. This should start to be, they start to look familiar then. Sn is equal to a 1 minus or to the power of n. Divide both sides by 1 minus or. So this is the sum of a geometric series right here. But we know we want to do it for infinity. So we're taking the limit as n goes to infinity of Sn. Let's do a 1 minus or to the n. 1 minus or. Remember, or is less than 1. That means that or squared is going to be less than or. Because if you type into your calculator a fraction, you multiply it by itself. Any fraction, multiply it by itself. And then keep multiplying it by itself. You're going to find that it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So the limit now. If we were to actually apply the limit here, or to the power of n, now that's a fraction, a fraction to the power of infinity. A fraction to the power of infinity will tend towards zero, which seems strange. Three over four, if you did that to the power of 100, you're gonna find that it ends up being a very small number. Three over four to the power of 
A million is an even smaller number. And the bigger the power gets, the closer it will get to being zero. So that yellow highlighter there ends up being zero. So we end up with S infinity is equal to A, one minus zero, one minus or, S infinity, A, one minus or,